Good morning. Today I'm installing an Omi charger. I looked at this job a couple of days ago, they're quite urgent to get it done. So obviously I said, yes, no worries, I can do it. But the consumer unit, once again, is in the middle of the house and I don't have an external wall to get to. So, time for me to problem solve again. Let me show you how I intend to do this. I've lifted up the flooring in the understairs cupboard, like here. And I have all this room, but I'm still not close to the outside wall. So, I need to try and fish some cables from here. Underneath this floor, to this external wall. Now with this one, we have different levels on this property. So you can see it drops down quite a lot there. And if I take you outside, what I have found if you spotted that, I'm still in the high van, is this cable here, which goes through the wall there. Now I've measured this, so about here is where that floor level is. So I'm gonna drill another hole underneath there in the hope that I can rod my cable through. Easy. I'm using my Rumpotec cable rods today. And these. These are absolutely gorgeous. Look at the ends on them, they're lovely. Da, 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 da. If I'm not under the floor, I'm in the hallway. No cable rods yet. That was five rods, so that's 25 meters. They should be here, they're not here. And if it's not there this time, then I'm getting underneath the floor, which I don't want to do. But I'm feeling good today. I had a good gym session this morning. I'm up for it. Still no rods. What I have here though is a wall there and another wall there. So I may be either side of that. That'd be annoying. But where I've done it, oh sh I think I am, you know. I can see them. I need another rod. I thought those rods were like a metre long. They can't be. But then why did I just see a red end and not a yellow end? I put yellows in first. Where have the yellows gone then? <laughs> I can see them. They're bent up. I thought it was a cable. I'm going to get these. <laughs> that, everybody, is a brilliant start to my day. What I'm going to be doing today, though, is They've had a consumer unit here installed in 2021. So we'll have a look and see what that's like. I intend to use it. Let's have a quick look. That doesn't look bad at all. And they've even used the earth on the consumer unit lid, which I don't see very often. Let's have a good look at this. I've done this one. So what I'm going to do in this today is I'm going to be installing an SPD and I'm going to be installing a Luden miniature RCBO which disconnects the neutral as well. Now the OMI does have a built-in RCD and you could argue that that's sufficient which is fine but if I've got the choice of putting an MCB in or an RCD I'm going to do it so whether you like it or not that's what I'm doing. And this is really because yes okay the, the charger has a built-in RCD but I want to protect my cable also. So I'm gonna put in the RCD to protect my cable. Now, there's loads of people who are arguing recently about you don't need to put in RCDs. Yeah, fine, you do you. I'm gonna do me. <laughs> don't know if I've got enough cable on this. It's gonna be a bit touch and go. So what I've done in my absolute Monday morning keenness is pulled the rods through too much and it's now gone but I can feel the end of it I'm not gonna get any grips in there but I might be able to thread another rod on it and pull it back let's have a go yes I'm not gonna get this through with that rod the way it is so I'm just gonna strip a bit back so I can tape it onto the rod And 
and that'll do me this end. Let's see what's left on the drum. That is absolutely bang on. If you're not using these yet, you've got to get involved with them. They're absolutely mustard. So I'm gonna answer some questions that I get asked quite a lot about the nail gun. What nails am I using? These are like the 17 mil ones with the orange surround. Do they blow brickwork? Yes, they do. So sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it does. So the alternative to this, and what I found has worked really well, is that the nails fix really well into the mortar, which is what I'm doing here. Nothing gets blown, dead easy, no damage, quick as you like. So this, my pedigree chums, is the Omi Charger. This is one of the simplest chargers to install. Inside you get a quick starter guide and a product manual. You also get a bag of bits. Inside this bag you have a CT clamp, which I'd like to point out to you, has barely any cable on it, which is extremely annoying. So rather than just making this cable a bit longer, they give you some Wagos for your CT connections and a little Wago junction box, which you need to install inside. Personally, I think it would be better if they just put a bit more cable on that, but what do I know? You also get a bag of the holster in and some fixings. Don't use these fixings. In the past when I have used them and I've done it slightly off, I've tried to take the screws back out and the head snapped off. So if you use them, fine, but it only takes me once to learn these things. So I'll never use these again. Some more fixings, a bracket and the Omi charger. What you'll find with the Omi charger is it comes pre-flexed. They don't want us going inside this unit for some reason, which is fine. The result of this though, is you need to install a junction box on the outside. So it's another thing to install on the outside of a wall, which some people don't like, which I get, I wouldn't want it either, but it is what it is. The Omni charger comes with the back mounting plate attached by one screw at the top. So you need to get that out first of all. And that screw can be a bit of a pain to get out. So what I suggest you do is just turn it up on its head, drop the screw out, and then the mounting plate comes off. Don't lose this. Next, get this mounted to the wall. I'm gonna to introduce to you today a new tool that I've purchased, and it is this. It is a dust collector that attaches to the Makita drill. I'll show you how to do it. First thing, take the battery out of your drill. And then if you've got a handle on it like this, what you're gonna to have to do is loosen it and turn it 90 degrees if you want to keep it on. And then this pops into this, like this. And then you put your battery in. To be honest, you probably could have left the battery in, but this is only the second time I've used this. So I'm still learning. I am going to do a review on this, whether it's any good, but not yet, because I want to try this out on quite a few jobs and see if it's worth buying. It costs about 90 quid. So potentially an expensive dust collector, but I don't like sweeping up dust. Get your drill bit and pass it through that end and then into the SDS. And then when you pull the trigger, you'll hear it kick in. It's got a HEPA filter on it. And when you want to empty it, it's got a little button there, which you pull down, which releases that. And you can empty that in your bin liner or in the bush or whatever you want to do. So back to the Omi, mark where your bracket's going to go. Get the old Gary Neville out and mark your holes. So let's try out this. That seems to have worked. I've got a bit of dust in there, not a lot. And if I show you the floor, no brick dust. The first impressions is that I do like this. It seems to work at the minute, but it's early days. And the way it works is inside this gap here, there's a little hole there. And when you drill, that's where the brick dust goes down, gets sucked into this and into the little vacuum. I didn't frame that shot very well, sorry about that. And I've lost my little toffee hammer, which I've left that on a job somewhere, but I found this one in my shed. And this is probably from like the 1800s. I think it was my uncle Bill's, my great great uncle Bill. So this is literally probably about 100 years old. So thanks Uncle Bill. And he's used like a nail to wedge it in place. Improvisation. 
once your bracket's in place, take your only charger and sit it on and get that screw and pop it back in the top. And then in this bag of bits, you've got two more screws to fix the charger either side. And that is it, charger is installed. So what you're gonna need for the Omi charger is a junction box. I use these black whisker ones and inside it has a connection block, a couple of reducers, which we don't need. But the reason I've gone for this big is it's got 25 mil threads in it, which means I can put my stuffing glands in it because I'm using UV Ultra. So I'm gonna put one in the top and one in the side and then fix it to the wall. So where I'm up to is whisker box installed. I have my EV Ultra strip back ready to go. This is ready to go. And I've connected up my EV Ultra with the signal wires from the Omi charger. Now this isn't polarity sensitive. It says so in the manual. And I'm gonna leave that bit there because I'm going to dead test through my cable before I connect it up to the Omi cable, just to make sure my cable's all clear. And then once I've got that connected, I'll do all the live testing through the EV charger adapter. It's a bit of a busy road that, sorry if that's interrupting with the mic. I'm gonna install the bracket this side. I have asked my client if she wanted it on the front and she said no, so we're going here. Client's always right. Where's my marksman gone? There it is. Quite liking that dust extractor. So when mounting the holster, it comes in two pieces. Make sure you put this the right way round. I have done this the wrong way round before. Very annoying. All you've got to do is make sure the flat bit is at the top. And then the holes line up and you can just screw it back. Thank you so much for a legend. Thank you so much. Hot chocolate, what a legend. I'm basically done out here apart from the testing. So I'm gonna get inside, install my RCBO, install my surge protection, get on with the testing. So what we have with the Luden RCBO, is you can see the little drawing there where it shows that both the live and neutral conductors disconnect. Whereas the old ones, you can see on that drawing that it's only the live conductor that disconnects. So if you're sticking an EV charger on a Luden board, make sure you get the compact RCBO. And a good friend of mine called Jamie told me about these. So thank you, Jamie. So what we have here now is my surge installed, my EV Ultra cable prepared here, ready for testing. And then what I've done is I've pulled back through my Cat5 from my EV Ultra, terminated it into this Wago box with the CT connections like that. And that's gone with an and that's got an arrow on it, which you must point in the direction of the current flow. So what you have when you turn on the Omi for the first time is this. You have a max ampage and you can put this up and down depending on what you want. I'm gonna say next on that, load balancing. I'm gonna say enable. Load balancing, I'm gonna reduce this down to 60 amps and then say confirm. And then we're gonna go through the RCD test mode. I'm also gonna carry out my ZS test. I'm gonna get on with all that stuff now. So why have I installed an Omi today? over say a Zappi or a Hypervolt. And the reason being is that my client is with Octopus. Now in order to get on the cheapest Octopus tariff, you need to install either the Omi, the Zappi you can now use on the cheapest Octopus tariff, so that's great. But the Omi is a cheaper charger. They don't have solar. And that is all it really boiled down to today. Now what you find, once you've finished your installation on the screen, you'll be left with this here. So all you need to do now is get your client to download the Omi app and the Octopus app if they're with Octopus. Go through setting up an account and then they come out, they scan that QR code and it will go through, it's just a walkthrough on your vehicle, etc, etc. And then it's really nice and easy to set up and that's it job done. This is probably the last video that I'm gonna make before Christmas. 
So I just want to say thank you to everyone for watching my videos this year. Really appreciate it. Hope you have a nice Christmas, Happy New Year, have a good drink, and I'll see you soon. Subscribe to my channel.